A question of character. Simon Belmont is a man o utilizing the Belmont family heirloom and most powerful weapon created to fight evil. The whip to defeat Dracula. Malevolent Transylvania citizens performed a ritual to revive the embodiment of evil. But this is just the bad version. His human form is much scarier. Dracula increases his power every 100 years because he lives forever. But unfortunately, humans cannot. Therefore, Simon Belmont is is hereditarily next in line. To whip, Simon Belmont must save Transylvania using a map to travel to the home of Dracula. Slaying upon the way, die naked Medusa. Skeletons have learned the Belmont's ways and are attempting to revolt. No chance. Simon Belmont is Transylvania's only whip master, striking in almost any direction, increasing its power from leather to spiked morning star. Destroying fire, axes, hardened rock. Speaking of hard, sometimes Simon Belmont's whip is unable to strike his enemies, frustrating him. This is when Simon Belmont must go limp. Limp whip! Appearing loose and uncontrolled, Simon knows how to hit it and keep it steady. The invincible limp whip! Simon is prepared to fight. He knows there is no turning back. Wait. Is there? No. It doesn't matter. Simon Belmont has everything he needs. And what he doesn't have, he acquires via munitions, candle, knives, holy water, boomer rings, the axe. Simon Belmont loves alternate weaponry. So much so that actual hearts increase his weapon capacity. I would love to have more knives. Love! Now I do. Simon Belmont stops time, halting vexatious Medusa heads as well. The power of Christ kills people. Simon Belmont obtains invincibility potion, causing him to blink with invulnerability. The skeleton will not hurt him, but he shall hurt the skeleton as well. Simon Belmont takes candle money. Worthless, worthless candle money. But hidden is another item that is one of the most valuable within Transylvania. And this item is chicken. Simon Belmont munches on only the finest of freshly cooked candle chicken, healing his wounds in only the way roasted meat can. But nothing compares to the incredible curative taste of wall chicken. Simon Belmont locates and destroys actual stone for its healing flavor. Served on the finest of China. A meal for heroes. Thankfully, even with low energy, Simon Belmont never experiences fatigue. Jumping onto stairs and changing direction in mid-air with ease. What vampire hunter can't? Simon Belmont has incredible spatial awareness. His floating leap allows for death-defying feats. This death has been defied. Simon Belmont valiant swings because valiance is needed within these evil walls. Simon Belmont has an attacking crawl, avoiding deadly cave trip, escaping dangerous stone. Almost anything in the land of Transylvania will injure him from evil blade, bone, or attack candle. Ouch! When hit, Simon Belmont flies violently backwards, usually into the deadliest of pits. Simon Belmont can handle a waterfall. But Simon Belmont cannot fall in water. Thankfully, Simon Belmont wears durable blue armor, allowing for the greatest of mobility, as well as allowing his hair to flow beautifully through the Transylvania air, as well as his thighs. But more importantly, in times of great danger and endurance, Simon disregards normal time and enters Simon time, slowing time to a heroic crawl, allowing him to whip at abandon. The monster has no chance against Lip Whip. Death shall die. And dancing specters have danced their last tango. Finally, Dracula himself shall soon taste firm whip. Because vampire hunting is not a sport, but a way of life. And for others, death. 
power. Excellent. Simon Belmont has all of the weapons a vampire hunter needs, even having the ability to double or triple his strike. But more importantly, Simon Belmont has lip, lip whip. whip defense. Excellent. Simon Belmont does not guard, but his armor is able to withstand a fair amount of strikes. And delicious healing chicken is plentiful throughout the land of Transylvania. So he shall stay strong and well-fed. Agility. Excellent. Simon Belmont is outstandingly agile within his armor, able to jump upon many of the various platforms, which is necessary because he should safely assume any platform under him will likely vanish. And he can easily jump out of quicksand, being not nearly quick enough for Simon Belmont's abilities. Grade A. Simon Belmont is evil's worst enemy and humanity's best friend. Except for the ones that revived Dracula. But just as Dracula is prepared for his visit, he should as well be prepared for his own exit. Because Simon Belmont cowers to none. And he doesn't mind crushing a good castle. Ah, now that was satisfying. Next episode. It is the 1800s. Let's go on to a trip. You're dead. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character. character.